Hey guys, good morning everyone. This is uh, this is a video that I've been trying to get out for two weeks and uh, unfortunately just been crazy busy. Here's a project. This is the top of a bowler. You can kind of always tell because if they have six players. Anyways, this was uh, this was bought from a operator that I knew for decades and uh, it was in rural Nevada and uh, built in 1958 and he told me that it was used four years and he knew exactly the bar it was used in but anyways off track here here is a uh, standard I'll have to look up the exact model number because I don't really have these memorized but anyways this uh, this one here I just noticed even has the uh, the coin entry so if you want to this was set up for tokens we can obviously do it for tokens or quarters so if you need a nice floor model at a fraction of the cost of new that might be a good unit for you and uh, we're still busy busy our last couple of uh, mini cranes destined to go out here first of the week and we have one more of these little guys left hard to believe I had 16 of those that's the MC 100 um, pretty much like new we put rebuilt MEI validators in them they're about a thousand bucks so pretty good buy if you need a small changer um, here's one more standard this one here I don't really want to say refurbished although we've taken it all apart cleaned it did not really need to be painted there is a small scuff on the uh, front of the Lexan there we can change that however you're looking at adding probably $150 to the price so anyways just want to show you a little bit about what's going on guys um, last promotionary item we did score a ton of uh, 9302 GX MDB coin mechs these are coin codes three tube this is something that I would like to see every one of my operators keep in their toolbox all right be right back to you stand by okay back at you had to do a quick uh, recharge there realized the uh, the battery was way low so let's get me in the picture here <laughs> the guy with the guy with the face for radio anyways guys um, people have been asking me especially as I've entered uh, the ATM um, part of our our business that really falls in our coin op industry <coughs> excuse me um, they always ask me Gee, are you scared? You know, the economy the way it is, the things that are going on, uh, you know, in the White House, etc. To answer your question, no, I'm not scared. Um, the guys that get ahead are the ones that ride a cautious roller coaster. And I've seen the highs and lows of our industry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I think the worst one was 2007, 2008, when so many businesses closed of course affecting our operators that uh, you know at lunchroom in these blue collar shops um, so am I scared should I be scared no this, this is not a business to be scared in uh, people say we're gamblers at heart if you're looking into an expansion the last just really six months 180 days during um, the virus, etc. We seem to be uh, on the downhill side. Hopefully, I want to be cautious what I call it, uh, so we can keep our video up. But things have been so incredibly busy for us, the suppliers, uh, keeping you guys that are in the trenches, the operators in business. We are just struggling and reaching out to get products. Something as simple as the coin mech that I had mentioned. This is, you know, it used to be a $79 coin mech. Now it's unfortunately about 40 bucks more than that. But people all the time call and they have a, an elaborate coin mech in their uh, vending machine. I won't name which ones, but you know what I'm talking about. The four and five tubes and they wonder why it's got an error, why it says this, why it has a low battery. Um, the best way to check if the coin mech is the issue and not the machine is by plugging one of these workhorses in, one of these three tubes. Plug it in, see if it works. If it does, leave it in that machine, get out of there, bring the other one back to home base, check it. 
uh, send it in for repair, whatever the case may be. In other words, don't waste a bunch of time out there in the lunchroom. People don't like to see you with parts and pieces all over their, uh, you know, their lunch tables where the employees eat. So, anyways, guys, uh, other than maybe this tool, which we carry, we don't really make any money selling them. We do it for convenience uh, for our people. This is an 11:30 seconds. It has the long reach. So you can put it over the validator nuts, even if it has a long uh, threaded shaft sticking out, it will take that nut off, that 11 30 seconds. So that tool and a 9302 GX, I don't know if you can read that through here, maybe you can. We sell these on our site, and I was out of these for a long time, but we, we did score a batch of them. We now are well stocked up on those. Uh, for my rebuilders, you guys need a bunch of, uh, you know, 6 or 12 or even 24. We can facilitate you and uh, keep you in action. But anyways, guys, um, this is the time to expand. Prices at auction are reasonable. Um, I don't see the prices being so reasonable on the Facebook marketplaces because people are dreaming. They have these snack machines from the 80s, which for the most part, guys, nobody should be buying. These are not ADA compliant. Um, and if you don't know what the ADA compliance is all about, just Google it. This is the American Disabilities Act for people that are handicapped that uh, we want certainly to be able to use a vending machine uh, correctly and safely. So guys, stuff from the 80s, stuff from the 90s, I'd really like to see everybody quit buying this stuff. Just let it go to the big graveyard in the sky. Let's recycle that into some newer stuff. Um, certainly nothing that's, that's not MDB. Don't even consider buying it. Um, and some of the early MDB stuff late 90s up into maybe 2003 or 4 that stuff's not so good either so uh, keep in mind guys quality stuff quality locations your best equipment should be in your best locations um, you will be returned that money time and time again um, and you will see what i mean operating that junk we call those junk operators more service calls your customers aren't happy um, would you put money in a machine that had an old brown front or maybe even a, a dove gray front, which I sincerely liked, but uh, since they went to black fronts and of course custom wraps, um, I, I think anything prior to that you're just beating yourself up. These hundred dollar machines, they could end up costing you a thousand dollars by the time you get them out. If in fact you want to convert them to an MDB system, people always talk about card readers. You know, on a on an old AP snack machine, crane snack machine, it's just not worth it, guys. Those locations for those old Snacktron ones that are a four wide, they don't pay off. Consider the cost of what your card swipe reader will cost you initially to buy it outright, and then of course what it costs you a month to operate it, and then what it costs per transaction. You realize you need to be selling your Snickers bars regular size for two and a quarter to cover a lot of these costs because you need to get this money back. If you don't, you will not be in business long. So, anyways, guys, I am uh, auction bound this weekend. This is uh, March, the March 4th auction in Anaheim at the Captain's Auction Warehouse. I've known these guys for a long time. Uh, they put on a good program down there and uh, they are back to live. Uh, in-person bidding, which I have been doing some purchasing online through the site uh, during the auction, but I really like to go, I like to meet people, I like to put my hands physically on the equipment that I might be buying for you guys. Uh, most of what I buy, of course, needs to be refurbished uh, to bring it up into, you know, 2022 uh, uh, reliability. So, anyways guys, I'll be gone for a couple days and uh, we'll have lots of goodies back next week. If I can do anything for you uh, to get you involved in ATMs, I'm not going to put a big push here because I am so incredibly busy. I never thought this thing would blow up like it did. So uh, we're up into about 33 or 34 people now that uh, have signed on with us, that we are doing their hosting. Uh, we are happy now that we are a distributor. Uh, we can sell the ATMs at a discount and offer you no cost hosting 
big plus. Uh, we just inked the deal here a couple of days ago, actually. And if you want to know more, I encourage you to watch some of my videos that I've done on ATMs. This will answer a lot of your questions. I just can't afford to spend an hour with each and every one of you on the phone uh, answering the same questions. I would like to, but any more time is just too valuable and I don't have that much time in the day. So I'm hoping these videos cover a lot of these questions. And uh, as you know, the best thing you can do for me is uh, when you make a purchase is go directly through the site. We try and ship 100% of our orders every morning. So if you get the order in overnight or maybe by uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, we're on the Pacific uh, Coast, um, it will go that same day, Monday through Friday. And uh, weekends, we're trying to do a little bit less. We have some other, uh, some other fun things we do. So uh, my VIPs, you can always call me 24-7. And... Uh, regular customers let's try and make it uh, Monday through Friday so guys there's another call for now Doug at Doug's World Tour I'm out